Hey folks, I'm back. It's been a little while since I last posted a video and it has been nice to have a little break and have some time with the family and just recover from the accident that I had about 12 weeks ago. But it's time to get back to posting videos. I'm back on the bike. I've got a new bike that I wanna show you today. Before I show you the new bike, I wanted to update you on a few things that have been happening over the last 12 weeks in my world. All right, so a quick update on my injury. The good news is I saw a specialist about my spine and it appears I'm no more at risk today of serious injury or paralysis than I was before the accident. This is obviously extremely good news and I can't tell you the feeling of relief that flowed over me when I heard that I could ride again. The bad news is my eyesight still isn't 100%. Part of the vision in my left eye is obscured by what's called a scotoma. The scotoma formed as a result of trauma to my retina during the accident. This GIF actually does a pretty good job of showing what it's like to have a scotoma affecting your vision. Hopefully this scotoma will disappear over time or my brain will actually learn to ignore it, which is actually kind of cool. But it's also a grim reminder of the seriousness of the accident that I had. In other life news, if you've been following my Instagram, you'll see that Ashley, Remy and I bought a house in Albert Park, mostly for adults slash family reasons. But for me, the silver lining is a lot of riding happens along Beach Road. It's not dirt, I know, but it's really cool to have such a large cycling destination on my doorstep. I'm hoping I can get some early morning bunch rides in and get my fitness back up to par. If you're riding a bunch along Beach Road, please get in touch, I'd love to hear from you. Okay, so a few weeks ago I did some video work for Big Hill Events. Big Hill Events ran the Shifty 50 and the all new G50 Gravel Series. I moseyed on out to Wombat to shoot the very first Shifty 50 of the season. Although I didn't race, it was awesome to be out there and see some friendly faces, new and old. The Shifty 50 is a mountain bike race series and it's all about inclusion and fun. There's a 50k race for those who have it in them, and there's also a 25k race if the 50 sounds a bit much. There's also an e-bike category. Wombat always makes for a classic race venue and this day was no exception. Personally, I'm really pumped about the G50 series races and I'll definitely be attending those. The next G50 race is on Sunday the 23rd of May at Yakandanda. And the next Shifty 50 is at Buxton on April 11, so get yourselves down there. So that brings me to what I'll be riding in the future. As you've probably guessed, it's going to be a lot of gravel. I've covered a lot of single track near my home of Melbourne and there will still be more mountain bike riding to come, but my riding can't be about pushing my technical skill or going big anymore. It's gonna be about getting out there whenever I can and enjoying a whole lot of new adventures. It may not always be the most glamorous or remote location, but I really wanna make these stories fun and interesting for you all to watch. And like I said, I wanna get fit again. I need to keep this dad bod in check and I want to do reasonably well at these G50 series races. Alright, let's have a look at my new bike. So I came to the gravel scene knowing next to nothing about gravel bikes. I was even kind of like, why don't people just use CX bikes? Like, they look just the same as gravel bikes. But of course, there's a bit more to the gravel scene than I first thought. To me, it seems like there are two groups of gravel bikes. There's your race bike and then your adventure bike. To me, your adventure bike is all about practicality and comfort and having the ability to load it up with a bunch of bags for bikepacking. Then your race gravel bikes are more about performance and lightweight. So after months of searching, I finally found the bike for me. To me, I want a bike that can really do both. I want something that's really comfortable to ride, I can still race it, and I can still strap bags to it to carry stuff. So here is my BMC URS 012. I should note that I am not sponsored or endorsed by BMC. This is probably the most expensive thing I've ever bought aside from my house. It's got all the fancy things like SRAM access, carbon wheels, micro travel suspension, integrated cockpit, and a whole bunch of good looks. I've done a few local rides already up the Maribyrnong and I'm still working out how best to actually film in this thing. Anyway, I'll have a full review on this bike once I put some more Ks on it. And I have loads more fun ideas for Tales from the Trails, so please stay tuned. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you soon. Ciao.